सो वट इज़ अपर वन दिस इज करन हीर वेलकम बैक टू टेक करन यूट्यूब चैनल हैव ओ कोवेस विच इज़ ऑफिशियल एंड्रॉयड वर्जन इलेवन बेस कस्टमर नाउ अवेलेबल फॉर सम ऑफ द डिवाइस इंक्लूडिंग रेडमी नोट नाइन एस रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो मैक्स एंड पोको एम टू प्रो विच राइट नाउ आई वेंट स्टॉट इट ऑन माई डिवाइस आई एम गॉन शिव दू सम थिंग्स अबाउट दिस हैव ओ कोवेस द रोम इज क्वाइट क्वाइट स्मूथ आई एम यूजिंग फ्रॉम अ होल डे आई हैव यूज द फुल ब्राइटनेस फोर जी हॉट स्पॉट एंड इंक्लूडिंग द कैमरा video recording a lot more stuff which i did on my device today a whole day and yes the room is quite good that's why i'm just reviewing i just don't believe some aosp rooms review right now in my opinion but this one is quite good you can use it on a device as a daily driver this might have some minor bugs but not any kind of major bug i found till now you can use it let's get started let's find out some things in this room Okay, let's let's start with some basic details about this Havoc OS latest build, which is based on Android version 11. It is a Havoc version 4.1 with the latest January security patch. We have the Gangkapa kernel version 4.1, 4.217. Cell Linux is permissive, and this is a mere tool build. So yes, can be installed on Redmi Note 9s, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, and Poco M2 Pro. All of all of these devices are supported for this build. If you want to install it on a device, you can install this. This is the Google Apps build. It has two builds options available. If you're looking for the vanilla build, that option is also available. Vanilla build, which means without Google Apps, and the second build is with Google Apps, which right now I have installed it. I always love to use the Google Apps build. I don't love to use the vanilla build most of the times, but yes, sometimes if the room does not have the Google Apps build, I'll go for the vanilla build if I need that. If you go over the home settings, yes, this is the Google Apps build. So Pixel Launcher is pre-installed with including some features, notification dots, swipe to access the Google app, and some little bit of things where you can also choose the suggestions options if you're looking for it, or if you don't want to, if you don't want to use that, it's up to you. Let's talk about some things which you get in the quick settings. Quick settings are fully customizable. As you can see, by default, you don't get these kind of options. I've customized these quick settings from the settings options, and that is working fine. You can simply use these kind of mixture like two by three, three by four, two by five, or whatever else you want to. As I have applied two by five, which is working perfectly fine here. Let me talk about some things. The screen recording L6 is working fine. You have the record audio from microphone or L6 option, but you don't get the option to customize the frames per second or bit rate and some things like that. So this is the feature which I was looking for and unfortunately not available. Also, if you're looking at my status bar, I don't have the Volti or Vo Wi-Fi icon. Both of the icons are not available, but Volti, Vo Wi-Fi, etc. is working fine. I have used it and I didn't get any kind of issues. It has a Google Apps pre-installed, so yes, all those apps which you get the Google Play Store, Google Phone, Google Messages, and all these stuff is already available here. You can simply update from the Google Play Store without any issues. Google Camera Go Edition is pre-installed, which is working fine. You also have the option to choose the Google Camera 8.1. In my case, I'm using Google Camera 8.1, and I didn't got any kind of issues at all. So this seems to be really interesting one too. Moving on to some other things, let me show you some things which you get in this room as some customizations. As if you go for the settings, we have the configuration center where you have a lot of customizations about Havoc OS. If you are looking for to install this room and if you are looking for some customizations, there are many. Are not actually talk about talking about a lot of customizations, but still quite good. Looking for the battery backup. In my case, I have more than seven hours of screen on time, and as I previously told you, I've used this device for the whole day with full hundred percent of brightness, 4G LTE, hotspot, Wi-Fi. and a lot more things including some camera video recording and photo capturing this is quite good i am impressed and the thing is the main thing is is smoothness if the room is quite smooth for the multitasking and the day to day usage this might be a very good choice for you if you want to install this it has these fonts available option of course these are not pre installed i have applied a magisk module for that let me talk about the magisk module and also let me show you one more thing if the safety status is passing or not and yes as i previously told you can use it as a daily driver why so because of this success which means the safety status is passing very well if the safety status is passing yes you can use the banking app so you will not have any issues you can also use the magisk 
the magisk actually the safe net status is not actually passing by default you need to apply some models for that also applied some these kind of models let me show you some four models which i have applied electrolux sense which is kind of a font which i have applied the second thing is full screen immersive gestures because of the full screen gestures to hide that pill from here the third one is g visual mode which is actually the surrounded ui which is which you don't get a by default here but yes i have applied this one and at last magic sky props config to use the safeness status passing and yes it's working fine here all of these modules i already shown you these are some main things about this have quiz let me show you some little bit of more stuff about this thing like if you go for the xiaomi parts it has some customizations here like the usb fast charge which is of course one of my favorite ones we have the xiaomi dose option display color calibration enable touch boost and all those main features are available and working fine too it also includes the face lock and the fingerprint but unfortunately didn't include it the app locker which i was looking for but unfortunately not available all the main basic things i already shown you other things have all the android 11 features looking for the configuration center status bar quick settings lock screen ambient display and some little bit of stuff available here and there as i previously told you no volty no wi-fi no wi no wi wi icons it's kind of a disappointing thing but not a big issue for you it, if the room is quite smooth and volty and wo wi-fi both are working fine here so no issues available here and there the icons does not matter a lot but it's up to you if you want to install this link for this official official room is in the description this is all thanks for watching and if you're looking for the installation of course you just need a zip file for that and if you don't know still don't know how to install this i have a, a lot of dedicated videos just go and search for the review plus installation video you'll find the installation video for aosp based rooms very easily thanks for watching and goodbye